can't play that. Hey, what's up my nifty peeps? Welcome back to the 100 Baby Challenge, part 20. I can't believe it's 20. And we are probably close to 20 children. We've literally om almost had a baby every episode. We have it, but with the amount of children we have, it's like we had. Anyways, so I was going to add this into the last part, but I decided why not start this one off with a bang, because Haven is bursting with her other baby, or babies. Could be twins, because we have room for twins. I am actually having her real quick put Palo on the potty, because Palo is not at level two potty yet. And this poor thing is so uncomfortable, pretty much like always. She's stinky, she's tired, she is just, she's like done. <laughs> she's been walking around these heels prego for like days. So I decided when she ages up into adult, we're going to change her outfit into a little more motherly of outfits. Just because I think as most people, not everyone, but most people, as you become a mother, you tend to tone down your appearances just a little bit most of the time. Not saying everybody, because I mean, to each their own. If you want to dress how you want to dress when you're prego or mother or whatever, that's all on you. But I definitely, at least as far as my experience, I don't, I definitely don't dress like I used to. I'm not saying I dressed very promiscuously. I just, I'm definitely more mom outfits now. <laughs> more for the comfort aspect. Like I, I have, I just bought a pair of heels that are like half heels from what I used to wear because we had a wedding to go to and um, I didn't have any heels. Okay, while you wait for him, go take a shower. I want him to finish pottying because when I leave the lot, they're going to technically send him to daycare. But, um, actually, no, we have teenagers, so they're not. Well, she gets a shower anyways, and then she can go have her baby at the hospital. Um, so while we were playing off screen while we were, while I was. Um, they are all pretty good. Barry still needs to get his skill up all the way. He's almost there to where he can start getting his charisma skill. Jack is already at level 10 and he already has level 3 charisma, so he's actually good for becoming a teenager. Um, they're perfect. They got their skills. They got their extra credit done. They got their extra, extra credit done. We literally just have to wait. I think, who was it that had an A? Was it Janice? Yeah, Janice already has her A. We're waiting on Susan to get her A. They should be able to do it before school, but I'm just kind of having them go to sleep, get all their needs up, because he still te technically has time to get the skill, but... Like I said, I like to age up my twins and stuff all at the same time, so he needs to get his move on. If you're new here, I always send her alone because I've always had issues at hospitals, or at least this hospital in here, where sometimes she gets there and there's no doctor and we're waiting around and just, I usually have a bunch of issues, so it's technically just easier for me to send her alone. Um, we are not doing, like I said, if you're new here, we're not doing birth certificates. We're just taking pictures with the baby daddies and I write down their names and what children went to who baby daddy. Cause sometimes I don't trust the family tree cause I've had issues too where, oh, we gotta get names. So I don't know if I removed them from the world or something happened to them and they completely disappeared. Um, I think, I can't remember if it was a baby daddy or the babies themselves. So it was weird. So now I'm definitely, I'm just keeping track of a list and we have a baby boy. So I'm going to actually name this one David and we're going to, so like I said before, when the game does not give you last names, I just kind of make one up. So they always called him scientist guy. 
scientist guy. So that, so he's gonna be David scientist guy. Oh, it's another boy. So this one is going to be fun. <laughs> and last name Bobby. So we have David the scientist guy. I didn't put the. I just put scientist guy for his last name. And fun Bobby. So we have fun and David is the baby's name. Okay. And we only had room for two. So that means no triplets. Thank goodness. But I need to get, I need to figure out where they put the babies first. Because that is always seems to be the wonderful game of find the babies. Okay. So I realized that I made a mistake with the baby's names. It's not a big mistake, but it's, I initially wrote ugly naked guy for one of the babies and I was going to change it to David, the scientist guy. I don't know why I think I got distracted and I didn't change it. So we actually have fun Bobby and ugly naked guy <laughs> for our babies. I really wanted to save ugly naked guy to go with ugly naked gal, but it didn't work that way, so we're just going to have to live with the fact that we have Ugly Naked Guy and Fun Bobby. David will have to go on the next one. So, uh, we actually skipped forward a little bit. Um, I didn't mean to skip forward this far, but I was kind of just, I had to kind of reset my game and stuff because, look, it's finally moving nice. It was really lagging, so I had to kind of clean stuff out a little bit. Um, but I moved the babies in here. So it hopefully won't wake everybody up. Everybody went to school. They should be all up on their skills. Um, the baby is actually up to level the baby, the toddler. I keep calling them, them the baby. They are technically a baby. But he is, he just needs his imagination, which is like two seconds long and potty. And he is good as far as his skills go. Which is amazing. I don't think he has anything in his inventory, does he? No. Okay. And then, okay, so. I might wait until the teenagers come home. They should be home pretty soon. I had placed down a gentleman who we will be having babies with because he is very handsome. But I needed a place that has, that had a rocket, a rocket ship. Because I really, ooh, what's this? What is, oh, it's flowers. I thought, for some reason, I thought it was like glittery. Look, it looks like it's kind of like glittery. I was like, that's so pretty. But, um, okay, go use the potty and just go to sleep for now, mama. Because you need to get it up. Um, yeah, so I placed a gentleman down that has a rocket ship on his lot. And we will be getting a relationship with him, but I need to go to space and eat grilled cheese in space. And I can't do that without a rocket ship. And I really don't want to spend the money on a rocket ship to build a rocket ship because we probably won't get the amount of money back that we spend. So this gentleman is actually really smart and he built the rocket ship for us because he's amazing and he doesn't know it yet. And so, yeah. So when the teenagers come back, that way the baby won't have to go to daycare or babies, I should say, toddler and babies. So when they get back, did you get level three? We will head over to his lot real quick. Okay, you did. So go ahead, put that away. I know you want to play, but you can just go potty until you're level three and then you can age up as well. I think everybody is going to be aging up, hopefully, fingers crossed, can't say it for sure, but she's already an A student. She is going to be an A because she has that little check mark. He is going to turn it, oh, so they won't age up, they're just going to go to B students, which is okay because he actually is has enough of his charisma, he went to high enough social, now he's into charisma. He's level three in charisma right here. So he's good for when he turns into a teenager, but he 
is I think level one charisma. Yeah, so he's level one charisma, so we need to get him to a level three charisma. Not like it, I mean, it's going to matter, but it's not going to matter for when he's a teenager, but I kind of just want to keep them on track. They're home, let's see. B student, B student, A student, and she's having trouble getting past an A. I am going to wake up Mama, and she is going to travel real quick. It shouldn't hopefully take too long, just by herself. Um, just because, like I said, we just need... I put a grilled cheese in her inventory, because I'm not 100% sure how this works. So I wanted to make sure all my bases are covered, so I stuck a grilled cheese in her inventory. I'm really hoping that he's not going to get mad at us for using his rocket because it's on his lot. But I don't think there's any other place to use a rocket. So I might try to do this real quick without coming to say hi. Here we go. Eat grilled cheese in space. Grilled cheese. Okay. Um, like I said, I hope he's not going to get super mad about using it without permission, so to speak. But... We will be, oh my god, look at her, <laughs> she's so happy, that's so funny. Okay, now, now that we used his rocket ship, let's knock on the door and see if he is home. Usually they're, oh, it looks like, yep, he's sitting right there. Hey, handsome. Theo Judd is his name. Come on in, let's do a flirty introduction. We cannot get pregnant at the moment, but we can chit chat and get our little stuff up. I don't think he'll be next. I think Charlie's going to be the next one because he is an old man. And we know, you know, we like our old men. This house, I seriously did just the basic needs for this house. Um, just so he could live. I know if he, I actually don't play the household, I don't have to worry about it space cheese that's hilarious so i felt bad for putting him in a empty house with just a rocket just because i wanted to use his rocket so we're gonna flirt with him real quick and then we are actually going to go home because she is exhausted um she had a very interesting space trip eating grilled cheese now the next i think the last thing we have to do is oh no Cook an excellent quality grilled cheese sandwich. So I think that's an individual because I have cooked um, servings before and they're excellent, but I guess you have to individual. We'll see. But I do have to figure out how to get the Grim Reaper over without killing somebody. You're not that hungry. <laughs> it's horrible. Um, let's see if we can get his potty skill up everybody else has to age up so we are actually going to why are you so more stop looking at me <laughs> from the mood swing that is so something me and my sister used to be she would always be like stop looking at me or stop touching me and we'd always do this thing where we'd put our finger as close as possible to the person without actually physically touching them and be like i'm not touching you anyways we got to get our cake out we have had this cake since, who made it? Ursula made it. <laughs> We've had this cake for forever and we will have it until either somebody eats it or, um, I'm going to give this to one of the kids and then we're going to sell you, or it goes bad. But as long as it works for aging people up, I am good on keeping it. You have grilled cheese in your inventory. You can go to you. You can go in the garbage. You can get sold. Motor level three. Awesome. Okay, you. Okay, so Janice is ambitious as well. So she's self-assured, gloomy, ambitious, and she wants a soulmate, which is Chandler Brain Bing. They have like movie love. Okay, so you, madame, after you're done with that, go here. And your sister. Oh, that didn't seem very fun. What was what was that? Birthday. 
Um, actually here. Go give yourself a pep talk. She's so mortified. I don't want her to die. I know she's an adult, but still doesn't mean I want her to die. Why are you very sad? Everybody is just time of mood swing. Every this is teenagers. Teenagers are just oh, I got a mood swing. Blah blah blah. And Rachel is she wants a big mansion. She's good, loves the outdoors, and is self-absorbed. So two of the four things is pretty pretty spot on for Rachel. Okay, add birthday candles. Um, just go take a shower and then you, nope, 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 don't go anywhere. Come blow out your candles. Everybody, everybody's going to age up. How much longer? 15 minutes. Okay, let's try to get that back down again. And you, sir, we're going to have to pick your aspiration. Pick a number between 1 and 12. 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Nature. Pick a number between 1 and 6. <laughs> My husband says 4. It was 2. The curator. So Barry wants to be a curator. He's mean and he's neat. That's kind of... He's a collector. One of which other one was? I think it was Estelle. Oh, look how handsome he is. Add birthday candles before anybody eats any of that stuff. And then come grab a serving of grilled cheese. And your brother is... Oh, he's viewing a painting. Okay. And little baby, are you level three yet? Oh, you are so close. Come on. You're almost there. Pick a number between one and twelve. Seven. It was seven. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pick a number between one and two. One. Mm, two. So Jack also wants a big house. He's a vegetarian and he hates children. That's going to be great for his teenage years. Sorry, dude. You are in a house full of children. And you're probably going to have to help take care of the children because there's one crying as we speak. The poor baby needs attention. So you know what, Mama? Come super fish and baby care. Maybe feed this one and rock this one. And then give a call to Mr. Charlie. Because if I remember right, last time we called him, I don't want to chat. He, um, he was sleeping during the day. So let's give a try again. See if we can get him over here. You, sir. Actually, perfect. Help age up. Help blow out candles. Okay, Paolo, you can wait. I'm sorry, but you can wait. <laughs> this poor kid. He's so mad. Where are you going? Oh, he took his food already. Dang it. Okay, go put it down real quick and go age up so we don't have to worry. We'll be right over. See, he's a night owl. Okay, so. Oh, he is neat too. We keep getting neat babies. Pick a number between one and four. Number three, he's a motor baby. I don't know if we've had a motor baby yet. Mama, come. Oh, we, have, we haven't had a first kiss yet. Okay, he is all kinds of mad, so come get your food and watch some kids TV. You, sir, I know you are, st actually, you know what, you go take a bath here. Actually, but first, clean this. Then take a bath because we need the shower for mama okay he's all flirty come on mama he's ready he's ready i'm ready i'm ready come on mama maybe <laughs> he's having so much fun he has to think about life life just got serious okay come on mama get a kiss get a kiss here we go okay now, um, let's see. Oh, we need to take a picture with this guy. Let's do that first before we actually forget. Okay, go make babies. Okay, so that took a picture of the wall. So after they're done, <laughs> we're going to have to do it again because we can't, we don't even see anybody's face. We just have a picture. 
of the wall. You, sir, can go take care of his stinky diaper. Maybe clean some of this up. He does have to go potty. And then you can do your homework. Thanks. Thanks, 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 thanks. How are you doing? You are actually, who? No, don't chat with Charlie. Oh, it's almost their birthdays. Okay. You as well. Oh my God, everybody has plates of food in their inventory. Need to do your homework. You are happy enough. You can take a bath in a minute. Okay, Mama, go take a test. Go. I know you're tired, but go take a test. No, no, we're not sleeping. We're eating for two. Yay. Okay, so let's chat here with him so we could take a decent picture. Why are... <laughs> These pictures are so terrible. I don't get why. Why is her face in the way? She's like, you know, I've had enough of these pictures with enough of these men that I just don't need their face in it anymore. It's all about me. Okay, let's try maybe going here. Actually, here. Actually, let's do this. Let's have her change her outfit. Maybe it's because her hair is so big. Actually, no. I want the other outfit. We rarely get to see you in this other outfit. Okay, so change in that outfit. Now take a picture. One more time. There we go. Much better. Now you can tell him you just want to be friends and he can go away. Friendly. Mm -hmm. Asked to just be friends. And then we'll send him home. And she actually needs to go potty, take a shower. Oh no, the cake! I forgot about the cake and it's spoiled! Oh no! <laughs> well, it's about time. Okay, let's have her actually cook a single grilled cheese. See if that is what the aspiration actually needs. Okay. So, are they seeds? Wow, I think they're my first teenagers to start off as C's, because usually, like, when they're doing pretty good as kids, they get B's. Okay, go start work on that then. I know you're tired, but this will help boost, boost you up a little bit, and you start working on that. Where's your bed? Who are you? Which one are you? You're Jack. So, Jack sleeps in that bed. And you are Barry. Oh, that was a I guess. Never fails. The baby cries. Did that complete that? Yes, it did. Awesome. Now we just need the Grim Reaper. I need to figure out how to bring him on the lot without killing somebody. <laughs> I guess we shall see. Come on, other baby, give a cry, please. Well, let's feed you while we're here and rock you. Come on, ugly. U G L Y, you ain't got no I love by you, ugly. Not in a bad way, because that's your name. So now we don't actually have to constantly cook grilled cheese because she doesn't actually have to eat it anymore. Maybe she could start eating salads because eating grilled cheese all the time makes you kind of chunky. I just realized it's not winter anymore. This looks like it's sparkling. But it's just the flowers. When you get close, it's flowers. But when you go, it looks like it's like a starry night or something. Oh, 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 oh. hey, 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 you guys, wake up. School time. Oh, you don't have to go to school. Oh. Okay, I forget. I guess we aged him up after. Okay, so you can eat the grilled cheese. Maybe use the potty. Let's see. You, did you do your homework? Yes, you did. But, oh, I can't do their inventory anymore. I was going to say we could have him start working on a project. But these are his brother's projects. 
and it's not going to help him in school. What are your skills? You are level three in social, so you are going to continue with social. Oh, 285 for bills. You gotta love the micro home lot. Actually, it's a small lot too, so we don't have a lot of lot taxes. That's why I moved them to the small lot because that big lot with this tiniest stuff had a crazy amount of lot taxes and it was just uncalled for. We're gonna have to really start earning some money because if we want to move into that house, not just the money we have to move in with, it's gonna cost us a ton to live in that house. <laughs> so we need to start having some kind of steady income here. Maybe she should knit more. See, other babies crying. We did it. Nope, nope. Go ahead and change the dirty diaper, which is awesome. I know you have to go to the bathroom, but your baby also went to the bathroom, so take care of the diaper while you're standing in front of the baby. And then you can go pee. See? Look at you. She always stands to eat every time. Even though we have tables and plenty of places for her to sit, she always stands to eat. I don't understand. It's just her. I've never had a sim that just always just wants to stand to eat. Oh, notification walls full. Oh, he's a bee and he's a bee. Fantastic. You need some fun and energy. So why don't you grab a serving and let's watch some cooking. You are already grabbing a serving. Sorry, Janice, we're busy. And you can also watch some cooking. No, eat it too. Eat too. Where'd you go? No. Oh, I grabbed the wrong guy. <laughs> They look so much alike right now. Watch current channel. Hey, Mom, I know you're tired. Come finish this dang book. Finish the book. I get that you're tired, but if you finish this book, we can be done with it. Okay. You, after you are done, I'm just going to have you go to sleep. Which one's which? They're so... Okay, Barry. You can go to sleep. Okay, she is just, she doesn't want to finish the book, so go to sleep. Okay, and you, after you are done, you can use the potty and also go to sleep. And then you need some fun. Just go ahead and play. He's so close to his necks, I should have waited. Okay, he got it. It's awesome. Oh, he already got it before. Okay, finish up and go play for a little bit. I might put you to sleep too. That way everybody is sleeping at the same time. And now will you finish a book? Please finish the book. Maybe it's glitched. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Hey Rachel, you just moved out not too long ago in her cute little winter outfit. Okay, you are doing pretty good. When you're done, I'll have you go to sleep, and you'll be all done. Okay, so I actually think this is a great place to leave this. We are pregnant with Charlie's babies, and these two gentlemen are teenagers. He's a kid. Okay, there has to be something with this book. I don't understand. She keeps getting up and not doing it. Okay, so anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this one, please give it a like. And if you would like to see more of my 100 Baby Friends Challenge, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see when I post. I am actually trying... I totally forgot about this. So Thursdays are going to be my 100 Baby Challenge days. Because I thought it would be hilarious if we called it Thirsty Thursdays. Because Mama's thirsty for some men. <laughs> To get some attention from the men so I thought it would be funny if we would post on Thursdays and we call them Thirsty Thursdays so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I hope you have a nifty day or night and I will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye